In previous video, we successfully creating this invoice PDF using Quest PDF and .NET 8. So now I want to tell you how we able to download it using a ISP.NET Web API, and also maybe we can use a browser to download this PDF and able showing to user. So let's start by creating a ISP.NET Web API. I choose ISP.NET Core Web API. You can search here also. I believe you already can download. I believe you already able to create this project. Lah. PDF API, anything you want to name it. I'm using a .NET 8 in here. We already have .NET 9 actually. Maybe we can just use a .NET 9. Let's see. And yeah, create. Okay, now let's start by installing the Nugget package of Quest PDF. Okay, I install I install the same version with the PDF library. Okay, install it. And then we need to also set up the license in here. If you remember when we trying to do here, we setting the license to community. So we also setting the same, but for web API, we setting from the program.cs in here. Just put under builder is fine. Okay, now we tell the quest PDF that we are using um, community version in here. And now we are going to creating one specific endpoint just new item uh, API controller empty in here I just name it as a PDF controller actually for app API it's quite simple we can just using a same code in here we are going to use HTTP get to download the invoice or maybe public I action result download invoice and I paste in here so yeah basically same like we do in a console application we get the data source and then we retrieve a model in here okay we're still using a same it's a fake data not in actual database and then we pass the model into generate document from PDF template by here we are going to have the document but the different in here when we are using a console application we do show in companion but in here we are going to use um okay we just return a file okay and then we call a document generate pdf ah. by this it will returning a byte array okay we are returning a byte array and then we need to define the content type in this case we are returning a pdf so application slash pdf and then we set the file name actually in here okay good what the file name we want to in example an example i use uh, invoice.pdf okay actually just like this uh, example you want to showing invoice pdf uh, file name containing the company name maybe model company name uh, it's fine you can do like this so we including the company name in voice pdf file name actually that's it we able to do we should able to download the pdf in here so let's start and try don't forget to set start a project to pdf api and then start it now we can go to our pdf endpoint api slash pdf and enter uh, it will automatically download the pdf we provide and in this case the file name is invoice strip uh, company name there is an additional dot in here okay and we if we open the file okay nice we are able to see the actual pdf that we show before in quest pdf companion okay nice and that's how we download from web api okay the next thing we want to try download using a blazer okay we, without the any relationship with the web api of course 
So we want to generate the PDF from Blazor and try to download it to the user. Okay, we can close it all. And start at new project, Blazor web application, Blazor PDF. Okay, I'm using a interactive render mode server. I think there is no different with other. Eh? So create. And for Blazor, there is quite different. Uh, it's not as easy as we do in API. And I will give you this article. Okay, I will share this link also in description. So basically, this is a documentation of how to download file from a Blazor. Um, in here, there is a two tutorial actually. This is for file under uh, 250 megabyte, or this is for larger file because this is only pdf and small file i just use this uh, first approach stream file content okay and there is a code in here we are going to still using a javascript in blazor to download the file and in this case our file is um, pdf i just copy here i will explain to you later and then i paste it under my application.razor we can put in here Okay, yeah, should be under script. Okay, nice. Okay, before I explain it, I want to add another button to call this function. We can put it under um, home. Oh, don't forget to install a quest PDF. I forget. Okay, quest PDF installed. And then we back to home. We call the using a PDF quest PDF. Okay. And then we are going to using quest PDF fluent. Oops, I'm missing it. Okay. And then because we are going to use a JavaScript in here, we need to inject a IJS runtime. Where is it? Okay, I just calling a GS. And then for this, I'm using a Blazor server. So the render mode, I'm using an interactive server. Interactive server. And then I will have a button in here. And on click. Later, I will have a method to download. And just a download download file okay and then we create a function in here private asynchronous um, task download okay and what we do in here we still using this function pdf api pdf controller okay this so we read from the invoice data source okay we need to add the reference also oh it cannot automatically yeah okay then we need to add manually where is it dependency i just add project reference and i add reference to pdf library okay and let's see now okay I can call using a PDF library in here. So we still getting the data model from data source and then using this model to generate our document. And then in here, we still using a generate PDF. We are getting the file bytes in here, document generate PDF, okay? So we are getting the file array in here from the generating PDF. And then we are going to use a memory stream. Memory stream. I think it's better using so it will dispose. So what it's do is uh, in here we are generating our PDF and it will returning. Okay, we can read in here actually. It will returns a byte array. So to read this file bytes array, 
We are going to need a memory stream in here. There is a several choice to read the file, but we are going to use in memory stream in here. It's faster. So after we read into the memory stream, we need to pass this uh, stream to our JavaScript because we are going to use this stream to our JavaScript in here. To do that, to do passing the memory stream to JavaScript, we need a var stream reference dot net stream reference in here okay so we cannot pass this stream into javascript method but we can pass that by using a dot net stream reference so we pass the stream in here and then we can reference this stream reference when we invoke the javascript how we invoke the javascript we can just call a js invoke void asynchronous and there is a method name in here this is the method name do not file from stream and then the file name is invoice maybe we can just set the same invoice drop the model company cannot company name okay and then dot pdf and then we pass the stream reference stream reference okay make sure you pass the stream reference in here not the memory stream okay by this we successfully invoking this method uh, javascript method and then what we do actually in here okay so in here okay in here we passing the dot net stream stream reference but javascript not able to do anything with this reference if we want to download the stream content in in here we need to convert it first into the array buffer okay in this case we read all the information or bad array we store in the disk and we read as a array buffer so after we get the array buffer in here we creating a blob in here blob blob is a binary large object so it's represent um what a raw data in format that browser can handle so in this case uh, this is array buffer um, browser didn't know how to show this into the user so to do that we need to create a blob for this okay so later user can download this blob file or in this case a pdf file this is the actual pdf file that user can download to the browser okay we got this in here and then this is a little trick i think so we actually creating a simple link in here a hidden link we can set we're creating a hidden link and then we put the url to download the pdf we create in here and then we click that link to download the pdf that's why later in browser it will pop up to us a download button and then after we successfully showing that download button pop up we remove again this uh, link that created in the background so the user will not see any button in the ui and after that uh, this uh, url is no longer used anymore to free that in our memory we are using this function to revoke object url so it will free our memory and this is the best approach i think the isp.net core team give us to how download file in a blazer so just we can just uh, use this so now before we try i want to setting this first uh, we are forget setting the license okay program.cs okay i put here so we setting the license type to community and let's try don't forget to set startup project to blazor pdf and start okay now we able to see download file button in our home and when we click it uh, we should able to see this invoice under not underscore strip uh, the company name so we try open and yeah that is this is our pdf generated by cube quest pdf okay now we able to successfully generating 
invoice model using a quest pdf and able to showing information from model to quest pdf and generating the data based as we want and then we're able to download the pdf generated by quest pdf using a web api and blazor application so i think that's it if you have any question or if you want to another tutorial regarding this pdf please let me know and thank you goodbye